What's up, YouTube? It's Jacob from Always Fresh Apparel, and today is finally what you guys have been bugging me for. We have clothing and two sneakers about things that I've been sent or that I've picked up in like, okay, well, how long have I been gone? The last four months. Okay, so this is gonna seem like a lot, but just keep in mind that this was sent and I picked up in four months. That's a long time. Real quick before I get into it, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the apartment tour. I'm in here right now. I'm trying to figure out what angles I want to get, what the best natural lighting is, um, how I want to set up the rack. I think this is a good one for right now. I've got the nice white wall. Um, very aesthetic, very modern. Dumb. And also for um, those of you who don't know, if you follow me on social media, at Jacob J. Keller, you know I made uh, a very, very large announcement. I don't want to say big, I said large. I made a very, very large announcement. Um, I am the new global brand specialist over at Jordan Brand, uh, so that is why you know I've been absent. I was trying to get that figured out, signing contracts, like figuring out um, hours, you know, all that stuff. So I am in the Jordan Building on the Nike World Headquarters campus, Monday through Friday, you know, like 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, I do have like a, a Monday through Friday now, um, so that's really exciting for me. It's finally something that I can actually dive into. And I can actually help, I can apply what I've learned um, through school and through YouTube and through friends, and I can apply what I've learned and apply it to a much larger company that could use a fresh young perspective. Um, so I'm extremely happy to be there. I've already helped out on photo shoots. I've done some um, polling for fall lookbooks. Um, and I'm, I'm very hands-on. So a brand specialist is just, uh, it's kind of like a jack of all trades type. I really don't, I'm not fit into one role, although I am with the global marketing team um, at Jordan. With that, also another opportunity, um, although I am Monday through Friday with Jordan, um, Justin from Maccus hit me up and was like, yo, do you want to work weekends at Maccus? I was like, hell yeah. So I'm now working Saturdays at Maccus. So I am now a Monday through Saturday guy. Uh, so if you guys want to come visit me at Maccus, come in on Saturdays. Um, also, so Sunday is today. It's the only day I really have available to film videos. So don't expect, um, you know, crazy, you know, every two to three day videos. Um, I hope you guys understand that. Uh, it's going to be maybe like a three video a month type thing. Uh, I, you know, Jordan is really going to take up a lot of my time. So hope you guys understand that. I'm just going to get right into this because I know you guys have been waiting for it. First off, this is going to be kind of a spring related video. Like I said, I didn't actually say that but it's gonna be very lighter colors, um, just lighter materials and textures. So I kinda of wanted to get Usher more into the new spring um, clothing style since we are in spring now. Um, this is an all white split hem shirt from Maccus. It is their private label. Um, again, size medium is what I got. I will show you how it fits. It just has like a reinforced stitching at the bottom with the, um, you guys see that little, uh, that split right there, fam. It's dope as shit. And then we got no stitching on the side, but we just got one stitch down the back. So, you know, very rare hemlines going on right there. Size medium I got. Link will be in the description. Let's throw it on. We the t-shirt boys. So we're continuing with the t-shirts. Next up, I know I might butcher this, but we have this Nid de Jeps. Um, rocker tee. So on the front it has that iconic, um, just like, you know, you guys know the rocker band tee style on the front. And what they did with this is they kind of kept it very, very, um, very street. So they, with their cuts, they have a um, cap sleeve. So the sleeve, there's no stitching. It literally, the fabric just comes all the way to the edge and then it's cut off. And then at the bottom, they have a raw edge and they have a very, very, um, like high up and long split. So it's very, very oversized. It's meant to fit drapey, meant to fit wide, um, with a slight scoop neck there, as you guys can tell. Again, another stitch down the back. Becoming very popular nowadays. So bam, I got a size XL. I wanted it very drapey. You'll see how it fits. Continuing with the Maccus staples. Same fit as that white tee I just showed you guys, but this one is the heather gray long sleeve. So again, it does have that same split with the reinforced hem at the bottom. Same amazing fitting neck. I mean, you guys, this is like, you guys know I'm huge on necks. This is one of the best fitting necks on any shirt I've ever put on in my life. Long tapered slim sleeves. So, you know, you get a little bit of stack action, a little bit of bunch. And then right here, you guys know that backstitch fam, it is crazy. The fit on this is awesome. Kind of gives you almost like a Fear of God-esque look. 
um, for not the price at all. So here you guys go. Mac is branding right there on the left um, bottom hem. Let's throw that shit on. You guys know I'm like a short sleeve well, and a long sleeve button down type of guy. I don't want to get into the button down, button up type debate. I don't give a shit. Um, you know my boys over at Zanro hooked it up with this white short sleeve cotton button down for the spring summer days. That's it. I mean, <laughs> what else do you want to know? It's a short sleeve button down, fam. I mean, it's nothing crazy. You just got to have one of these in your wardrobe. Um, it's just got, you know, the kind of, you know, the back stitch that they do. This one's slightly elongated. They definitely do that with their button ups. Zane rope, size medium, fits me trim and slim. Um, you know, so the ladies know what I'm working with. You feel me? Yeah, okay, okay. Bam. 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 Next up, one of my favorite designers, Micah Cohen. His brand is called Shades of Grey. You guys, I mean, I've done pictures, I've done video, like you guys know about Shades of Grey. Um, this is like a off-white cream, like elongated, drapey, wide tunic that I'm for sure gonna be getting some use out of in spring, summer. It's lightweight, almost like a linen type material. Um, it's got, I rolled up the sleeves. It's got kind of longer sleeves, but I like to give it a little bit of fruit roll up action as you guys know I do right there. Um, this is a size medium, so it's meant to fit oversized, so definitely grab your true size. I wouldn't recommend going up. Um, again, like I said, links to everything are going to be in the description. But yeah, this is a much longer fit than that Zane Rope um, button up. Uh, yeah, you guys will see it. It's nice and drapey, nice and flowy. A little bit sheer, so I would recommend, I mean, if you want to get a little bit of nip action, that's fine. But I would recommend a little uh, t-shirt underneath that for sure. Next up, the most high fashion flannel I've ever picked up in my life. We have this heather checkered gray, black, gray uh, flannel from public school. Man, fam, I mean, yeah, it's spendy. This, this thing was spendy. I got it on sale though from Revolve Clothing, link in the description. Um, but man, once you get like, I finally realized why they charge that. Like, I know it's gonna sound crazy, but like, this is the best fitting flannel um, the best material, just the best everything I've ever felt on a flannel in my entire life. So I get why they do it. Um, it's got a mandarin collar, it's got double sleeves, so it looks like you're wearing like two layers. Um, it's extremely narrow fitting, I mean it slims so much, so you don't gotta worry about, you know those extra donuts you ate the other night, which I actually did. Um, so yeah, public school, highly, highly recommend public school. We got another pickup coming from them later in the video. So here you guys go, side me. Leg, leg up now. You know this video wouldn't be complete without some DP. Some not deep penetration, but some Daniel Patrick. My man down in LA kills it with the simplistic essentials. So this is called the Hero Sweat Crew Neck. Um, man, you guys know, you guys have seen me wearing this in IGs. I've been getting a lot of wear out of this crew neck. It's my favorite one I own to date. Um, it's got the kangaroo pocket. I added these little um, bobby pins right here for a little bit of, you know, streetwear high fashion touch. Um, it's got the um, exaggerated shoulder hem, so it, it drops instead of, you know, the shoulder would normally be right here, but this one drops. Um, shorter sleeves, um, I like to roll them up a little bit. The stitch down the middle, I think there's a stitch down the back. Stitch down the back, yeah, we got a stitch down the back. Um, I got a size large, the neck fits great, it's a little bit wide in the chest, which I love and it kind of tapers. Um, that's the look I want with this. Extremely happy about it, link in the description. Real men wear pink, or as I like to call it, peach. This is peach. This is definitely peach. So, shout out Acne Studios. No, I can't shout them out. They didn't give this to me. Um, I bought this. Um, so this is the Acne Studios Casey Crew Neck. I got this in a size medium. A lot of people were wondering how it fit. Size medium fits me true to size. It fits me slim, um, and that's how I wanted this one. I didn't want it too baggy, too oversized. Neck fits great. Um, sleeves are a little long, so I gave them a little bit of fruit roll-up action. Again, it's like I, there's nothing to talk about. It is literally a peach crew neck from Acne. That's all there is to say. Size medium, I would go your true size. Um, link, I, this one's sold out, but I will link Acne in the description in case you guys want to take a look at any other colors 
they have in the Casey crew neck band. Yo, shout out my man John Elliott. Oh, my head's out of it. I appreciate the spring delivery. Um, there's gonna be three pieces that I'm gonna showcase for you guys. This is the Dune hoodie. Um, it's not the sand. The sand's more of like an off-white cream. This is definitely more of a tan. Silver Riri zips. You guys know the villain hoodies. We all know it. Size large for me. I like it a little slim. You guys know John Elliott runs uh, small, so size large for me fits perfect. Let's move on. I couldn't stop at just one Dune piece from the spring collection from JE, so I had to pick up the Bomber Dune colorway. This has got a double, double re re zip. We got one going down, we got one going up. You feel me, fam? We got one on the sleeve right here. Hey, you know, you can stash whatever you want there. I'm not a smoker. You could probably put some cigs in there. I don't smoke cigs, no. So here you guys go. This is a very lightweight material. I would recommend it if you're trying to get it for the winter. This is a spring collection. So it is going to be much lighter. Um, that's all there is to it. This is a size medium. Fits me very true to size, as you guys will see. John Elliott's links will be in the description down below. Yo, fam, this, this is fire. So this is another one of John Elliott's pieces. Thank you, brother, I appreciate it. This is his linen jacket. Um, I don't remember like the technical name. It's like M65, I don't know, M65, something like that. Um, it is like a linen, I would almost call it like a denim jacket style with the, with the collar, you guys know. Buttons all the way down. We got about seven pockets in this bitch. Um, we have re re zippers on each side so you can throw your hand in right there. You see how I'm doing that? Throw your hand in. So we got one here, one here, black mat, re re zips. Um, other than that, we got some little, you know, yeah. On the back, um, this is a size large, fits me true to size. I would really recommend checking out his size chart. It's extremely detailed. Um, you guys can get your chest measurements and all that off that. Here you guys go, the linen jacket from John Elliott. Appreciate it. Fam, I told you I wasn't done with public school. Mm, I wasn't. So here you guys go, we have this reversible bomber from public school. Check me out, hold on, check me out. Heavy duty re-re zip going down the front. You don't see that often. We got the mesh pocket, not pocket, we got the mesh lining underneath the armpits. You know, you gotta, you gotta get some ventilation. You gotta smell good. We have like the collarless collar, if that makes sense. There is no collar, it just is like this little like scoop as you guys can tell. Um, back is just basic. And then if you guys were to go on the inside, it just turns into like a black wool bomber on the inside. So I can reverse it um, and get a little bit of dual action right there. So basically you get two for the price of one. Okay, this is a heavy duty zipper. I'm just gonna leave that. I'll fix that in a sec. Next up, we have this Rick Owens Dark Shadow. I think again, it's like that M65 style of jacket with the, the four pockets on the front. This one is a button up all the way to the top, as you guys can see right there. Um, this is a size, I think this is a medium or a large? Just so you know, it's authentic Rick, there you go. Um, I think this is, oh, this is a large. It does fit me a little bit oversized, but I'm okay with that. I love the color, it's kind of like, um, almost like a deep charcoal mixed with like a dark, like a washed brown. Um, something I'm really into for the spring nights um, because this is more of like a spring night fit for me. Here you guys go, Rick Owens Dark Shadow. And for my birthday, which as some of you guys know was like three days ago, I picked up this Mason Martin Margiela like vintage wash bomber, like it's not vintage, but it's like a vintage wash bomber look. So they treated it so that it's, it's supposed to look washed. So as you guys can tell underneath the collar, it's not washed. And then right here is washed. So it's kind of meant to give off like that. It's been worn a lot. Um, heavy duty zip going down the front, pockets here. Ribbing is all distressed. Um, the back is just basically like that. Um, I love this thing. So made in Italy, if you guys want to see the Margiela tag, so you guys believe me, there you guys go. Um, yeah, this was my birthday present to myself. I'm very, 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 very happy I got it. So here you guys go, Margiela Bomber size of me. Q 
can't forget about the bottoms for spring summer. So I have two that I've been wearing a lot. This is the Naked and Famous Ivory Power Stretch Super Skinny Guy, um, which I had to get tapered even more. Cause you guys, you guys know how I like my denim like that. And this is a Daniel Patrick Shield um, jogger uh, sweatpant. And you guys will see how that fits in a set. This is a size 32, this is a size medium. with Jordan brand that does not mean that I can't wear certain kinds of sneakers I can't just wear like Adidas Reebok Puma or anything like extremely um, athletically competitive like that so with that being said I can rock common projects so I have two pairs of common projects that I picked up let's start with the uh, the highs so these are the highs right here these drop this spring summer uh, so this is the spring summer 15 collection um, white leather kind of like a aged cream outsole this is a size 40 okay so this is like lower than I normally get but I tried them on in store at Francis May um, and I picked them up green hit on the back tab um, basically that's all it is to this sneaker I love them um, if you guys I just I wish there was like touch something through the TV so you guys could feel the leather on the inside of this um, this leather is better than my Marshall Lewis. So um, the, the price is cut in half. Um, so you guys know the Common Project does it big. These are a size 40 on the highs. We're going back to the Achilles Low. Here is the Achilles Low. This is just a white Achilles Low. Like this is like something that they make every season. It never like, I mean, if it sells out, yeah, but you can always wait till the next season because it always comes back. This is a size 41, fits me true to size. So I'm 40 in the highs, 41 in the Achilles low. Um, I wore these yesterday. These with some like cut off crop trousers uh, or like those Daniel Patrick joggers is an extremely good look. I will show you guys what they look like on. Again, leather on these is incredible. Take some time breaking in. These actually look better with age. So I'm excited to break these in. Um, yeah, bam. There you go. So thank you guys again. Um, I hope you understand, you know, how busy I've been this last week. Um, me and Everett, as you guys know, Ilgander, um, he shoots all the Jordan Grand photography. So we were uh, down at Manzanita, this beach two hours away in Oregon. Um, I had to get up at 3.30 a.m. That was my call time uh, to get down to that shoot. So we had a 15 hour shoot. Um, so it's like, I'm, I'm a busy man, uh, it's, it's, it's exhausting, um, I'm learning the ropes, it's just very, very hectic right now. Um, so I hope you guys understand if it's not going to be something like every day, um, like it used to be. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching, it means a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed the tones and the, the vibes that I've been giving you guys for spring, summer. Um, very light, very much tan, cream, um, pink, peach, olive, uh, kind of like a light gray. Um, those are the, uh, the colors that I'm going to be working with for this spring, summer. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Oh, and you can't forget, I'm going to be working with white shoes a lot, okay? And Jordans. Jordan 1s, of course. Um, yeah, so thank you guys again so much for watching, and remember to stay fresh, my friends.